The Army and industry have long stood shoulder to shoulder throughout our nation's history, particularly in times of peril. Just as we mobilize our efforts to combat the global threat during World Wars I and II, we must do the same today. Together, we will defeat the COVID-19 virus and ensure we have a force ready to defend the nation and her interests. The Army and our industry partners are still bending metal within our labs, factories, production facilities, and engineering centers. Because of your commitment, our modernization efforts remain largely on track, ultimately ensuring that our Army is able to defend the nation against adversarial threats today and retain overmatch into the future. Many of us are able to maximize social distancing and take advantage of telecommuting opportunities in order to flatten the curve. In order to deliver capabilities, however, many of your unique skilled occupations must be done on the line. The world is complex and dangerous. We have to keep growing the force, building capabilities that give us the technical margin to win in combat. You cannot telework combat training any more than you can telework welding, systems integration, or developmental testing. We, however, leverage advanced technology to accomplish other aspects of program development in the virtual space. Things like developing digital drawings for the optionally manned fighting vehicle or refining our requirements for long-range precision fires. Nothing beats American ingenuity, not even a virus. We have four vaccine candidates that are in animal testing, with two entering into human trials. We will crack the code and win, but it will take time. So in the interim, we have to adjust and stay focused on social distancing protocols. I'm incredibly proud of your accomplishments and the continued need for your skills and innovation cannot be understated. Stay safe. Let's defeat this virus together and remain the world's most dominant fighting force. Thank you.